Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Let's do a really great morning yoga class. So this will help you feel opened up and flexible after being still and sleeping for so long. When we tend to wake up, we tend to be a little bit stiff and groggy. So this is a great little energy boost. We'll begin in our tabletop pose. Fingertips are spreading wide. Knees are underneath the hips, palms are underneath the shoulders. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, curl tailbone up. And as you exhale, drop the chin towards the chest, round through the upper back. Take cat and cow a few more times, just to warm up the spine and get some movement going. Feel the opening in the shoulders, and in the hips, lower back, sides of the waist. Take another one. This time as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, curl tailbone up, and on the exhale, round your spine and start to press your hips towards your heels, child's pose. Inhale, lift up, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, press your hips towards the heels, stretch through the arms. Do that two more times. Inhale, lift, drop the belly. Exhale, round and press it back. Last one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, round. Child's pose. And stay here for about five breaths. Let's lift the upper body back up. Please step your right foot forward in between your hands to the top of the mat, taking your low lunge. So hips are pressing down. Keep the ankle underneath your knee and lift up. We're going to reach our right arm straight up towards the sky. Bend into that elbow and you can either use your left palm to press that elbow back or you can reach your left fingertips behind you. Catch a hold of the fingertips and open up the chest as you press your hips forward and down. Smooth, steady breaths. Keep the tailbone reaching down towards the floor so the lower back stays flat. Open up the upper back a little more. And let's release the hold of the fingertips. Bring them back to the floor. Straighten your right leg for your half splits. So if the hamstrings are really tight here, feel free to bend into your right knee a little bit. Not trying to do too much right away. Mostly just feeling out how the body feels this morning and where we're holding our tightness. Lifting the upper body, let's bend our right knee. Plant your left palm to the floor, curl the back toes under so you can lift the left knee off the mat and reach your right arm up. Take a nice twist here. Start to look down so you can plant your right hand to the floor. Take your plank pose. So three breaths in plank. Feel free to drop your knees on the mat if you need more support. Otherwise, the knees stay lifted. My heart is reaching forward. I'm firmly pressing the fingertips and knuckles into the floor, squeezing the inner thighs towards each other, pulling the low belly in. Take one more inhale here. Let's set the knees down first and lower all the way down onto your belly. Elbows are pulling in towards the ribs until the chest can lower. Pointing the toes back, take a little cobra. Chin and chest lift up. Exhale to release, press back to child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart, five breaths here. Come on up, tabletop pose. Let's step our left foot forward. 
finding our low lunge as we bend into that left knee. So this time, left arm will reach straight up towards the sky, bend into the left elbow, and either use your right hand to press the elbow back or reach your right fingertips back behind you, holding on to your palms or maybe just holding on to clothing. Tailbone reaches down, lower belly hugs in, chest is lifted as you press that left elbow back. Get your breath going in and out through the nose. Take another inhale here. And let's bring our fingertips to the floor, half splits. Hips go back as you straighten your left leg and fold over your thigh. Remember that you can absolutely keep a bend in your left knee here. The leg doesn't need to be super straight. Relax your head and neck, maybe shake it out a couple times. Let's lift the upper body up, bend into your left knee, keep your right palm on the floor, curl the back toes under, lift your right knee off the ground and extend the left arm up for a twist. Keep the right shoulder drawing in so it doesn't pop forward. Let's look down and set the left hand to the mat, plank pose for three breaths. Once more, you decide how much effort and strength you want to build in the morning. So maybe the knees stay down. If you wanna make this practice a little bit more gentle, try to get your palms squeezing in towards the toes so you're engaging the front line of your body. One more inhale here. Let's drop the knees down first and lower to the belly. Pointing the toes back, cobra. Exhale to lower. Instead of going to child's pose, let's come onto all fours. So hands and knees will take puppy to open up the upper body a little more. This is one of my favorite poses to do first thing in the morning. So keep your hips over your knees and then walk your hands, stretching them forward as much as you can, setting the forehead down to the ground. Firm up the belly a little bit so you're not creasing the lower back too much. Take deep breaths into the shoulders, armpits, pectorals, wherever you feel this the most. Bring the palms back in, lift the chest. Keep your hands shoulder width distance apart. We're gonna come into downward facing dog. Our first one, bend the knees, lift the hips back up and just paddle the feet. So bending one knee, straightening the other leg and alternating as you sway your hips from side to side. So first downward dog of the day, odds are it's pretty tight. So don't worry too much about having straight legs or having your heels on the ground that will come over time. Instead, focus on stretching the arms, getting them really long, pressing the chest towards the thighs, shaking out the head. From this downward dog, let's lift our heels high off the ground and then drop both heels over towards the right side of your mat. So keep bending into your right knee, try to keep the left leg straight and lift up onto your left fingertips as you look underneath your left shoulder. You should feel a really deep stretch along the left side of your body, from the shoulder all the way down into the hip and down into the leg. Let's switch sides, so drop the left hand down, lift your heels, and then both heels over to the left. Bend your left knee, keep your right leg straight as you press into that hip and then lift the palm of your hand so you're on your right fingertips, looking underneath your right shoulder. Back into our downward dog. Let's extend our right leg up and back, bend your right knee and open up that hip. Maybe do a few knee circles if that's comfortable here. Lubricating the joint, getting a little bit of motion and movement going. We're gonna step our right foot forward about six inches behind our right hand, so not all the way to the top of the mat. You're gonna roll to the outside edges of both feet so that all 10 toes are pointing towards the right side of your mat. 
leaning on your left hand and reaching your right arm up and over. So both legs press into the feet to lift your hips up a little higher here. Take an inhale to lift and reach. And as you exhale, drop the hips down and reach your right arm towards the back of the mat. We'll do that three times. So inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, drop the hips. Strengthening the obliques. Inhale up. Exhale to lower. Last one. Inhale, lift it up. Let's drop our right hand to the mat and you're gonna step your right foot all the way in between your palms. Feet are hip width distance apart. Let's come up into a high lunge. Arms reaching up. Bending into your right knee. Maybe the back knee bends a little bit as well just to keep the pelvis neutral. Taking a really nice side bend. Please grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand. As you inhale, lift up. And on the exhale, start to side bend over towards the right. So reaching your left arm up and over. Come all the way back up. Bring your hands at your heart. We're gonna step up into chair pose. Big toes together, heels apart. Bend the knees and drop the hips. Keep the chest lifted. Drop down a little lower. And let's take our flow. So inhale up, exhale, fold forward, straighten the legs. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, pull, plant your palm. Step back to your plank pose for one breath. Inhale here. Exhale, lower to your belly. Point the toes back, take cobra. And then downward facing dog. Again, paddle the feet, shake out the hips, try to get comfortable in your downward dog. Let's extend our left leg up and back, bend the left knee and open up that hip nice and wide, doing a few knee circles here. Keep pressing your left shoulder down. So we're going to step our left foot forward about six inches or so behind our left wrist. Roll to the outside edges of both feet as you lean into your right hand. So all 10 toes pointing to the left. Left arm reaches up and over, bicep along the ear. Take an inhale, lift your hips as high as you can. Exhale, drop the hips, reach the palm back. Three more. Inhale up. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop the hips, last one. Inhale, lift it up, look down, bring your left palm to the floor. We're coming into a high lunge. So step your left foot in between the palms to the top of the mat, feet are hip width distance apart. Come on up. Left knee bends generously, right knee bends a little bit as well. We're gonna take our side bend, grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, send it over towards the left. Come all the way back up to center, bring your hands at your heart. We're gonna step up to chair pose. Big toes together, heels apart, knees are bent generously. Keep the chest lifted, feel your hands press in against each other so you're really engaging the upper body here down a little lower. Take an inhale to lift. Exhale, fold, straighten the legs, moving through our flow. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step both feet back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower to your belly. Lift up to cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Five breaths here. From this down dog, lift your heels up really high, bend your knees, look past your palms, and you're gonna step or hop to the top of your mat. 
taking a halfway lift inhale exhale fold press the stand reach the arms up overhead bring the hands to touch and let's join our hands at our heart you'll need to step your feet wide towards the edges of your mat and then keep your heels in and your toes pointing out as you bend into your knees keep your hands on the upper thighs and just sway a little bit side to side so opening up towards the inner groin, maybe lifting and spreading all 10 toes. We're gonna drop our right shoulder down and pull the left shoulder back. Use your right hand to press against the inner thigh to open it up a little more. Switching sides, left shoulder down, right shoulder draws back. Let's come back to neutral. Press into the hands, press into the legs, and lift up. Please turn your left foot towards the top of the mat and bring your right foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Arms extend out, we're coming into triangle pose. So hips go back, chest is leaning forward, maybe sliding your left hand down your left leg, right arm up towards the sky. Feel free to grab a hold of your shin and press yourself up if you need more support. Otherwise, just press the back of the hand against the inside of the shin so you're using your core to lift the upper body. Let's bring the right hand on the waist. Come on up. Switching sides right away. Left foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Right toes point towards the back of your mat. Hips go to the left, sliding your right hand down your right leg, left arm up. Triangle on the second side. Roll the left shoulder back, bring our hands on our hip, come on up. So both feet parallel to the short edges of your mat here. We're gonna come into a wide-legged fold and take a twist. Twists are a great way to energize the body in the morning. So inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold forward, lower all the way down. If the floor is too far away here, you can always set your palms on a block. We're gonna bring our left palm towards the center of our chest, right hand on your waist, Start to roll the right shoulder back as you open up the chest, maybe reach the right arm up. Only looking up if it feels okay for the neck, otherwise just keep looking straight down. Lower belly draws in and up. Let's release right hand, takes the place of the left. Bring your left hand on your waist, roll the left shoulder back and reach to the left fingertips straighten the arm. Release left hand to the floor and fold all the way forward. Walking the palms back as much as you can, shaking out the head. Feel free to narrow or widen your stance whichever is appropriate for you. Opening up our shoulders one final time before we start to close our class, let's interlace our fingers behind our lower back and then reach your knuckles up and over. Release the interlace, fingertips to the floor. Lift up your chest a little bit. Toe heel your feet back about hip width distance apart. We're gonna take malasana, heels in, toes out wider than the hips. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Hands at your heart. Use the elbows to open up the knees a little wider. Reach the heart up. Lengthening the spine while dropping the hips. Squeeze the glutes to help the knees open up wider. Coming to seated, hands behind you, release. Let's just take a twist. So with your legs forward, you'll need to bend into your right knee and then you're crossing your right ankle 
over the left thigh. Bring your right fingertips behind you for support. Lift up the low back. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, hook the left elbow to the inner right thigh crease and open up the chest as you twist. Try not to round or collapse forward. Release and unwind. Let's switch sides, right leg forward. Draw the left knee in. Cross the left foot over the right thigh. Bring your left fingertips behind you. Inhale, right arm up, extend. Exhale, hook the right elbow to the inner left thigh crease to twist. Release and unwind. Let's take one final hip opener before we close our practice together. We're gonna take square pose. So for this one, you'll need to stack your right ankle over the left knee. So then your right knee ends up being directly over the top of the left ankle. So they might not end up touching. You might find that there's quite a bit of a gap here, which is fine. Over time, they'll go a little closer. And you can either stay here if this is enough. If you'd like to go deeper, you're gonna walk your palms forward and fold, holding for five deep breaths. lift our chest back up uncross the legs bring the feet wide and just drop the knees from side to side in a windshield wiper motion switching left ankle over the right knee so left knee on top of the right ankle both feet firmly flex either stay here or fold Let's lift up. Uncross the legs. Let the knees drop side to side. Instead of finishing in Shavasana like we normally do in yoga classes, we're going to close with a seated meditation. So sitting up nice and tall, palms on the knees, create space. So in the morning, I generally like to skip Shavasana because sometimes I'll fall right back asleep. It's a little safer to end seated. Reach the crown of the head up towards the sky. Keep a gentle tuck of the chin so the back of the neck is long. Notice if you're sticking or leaning the ribs forward, bring them back in. Come back to whatever rhythm of breath is natural to you. So not forcing our breath, but instead allowing it to be soft and steady. And this is a powerful time to set an intention for yourself and the day ahead. Asking yourself what kind of day you want to have. What do you want to focus on or cultivate? Let's 
stay here for one more minute. Notice the mind start to wander, just lovingly bring it back. I encourage you to stay here longer if you feel called to do so, and if you have the time to do so. Otherwise, if you're ready to come out, start to breathe a little bit deeper. Feeling the chest lift. Gently blinking these eyes open. Let's bring our hands at our heart. Thank you so much for doing this practice with me. I hope you have an amazing day. Namaste.